gosh, I loved Rat. I think Lay It Down is one of my favorite guitar riffs of all time. I mean, really, like I play that riff all the time. So I was at a guitar shop here in Los Angeles, Norm's Rare Guitars. It's a very famous vintage guitar shop. And I was go I was in there picking up an old, I think it was a 56 Gibson Les Paul Custom, which was a total dream guitar of mine. And when I was in the shop, I'm sort of looking over over in the corner. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's that's Warren D. Martini. Warren D. Martini's right there. And he's walking towards me and I'm holding like holding this guitar that I'm like totally in love with. He's walking, he's looking at it. I'm looking at him. He's looking at the guitar. He's like, hey man, are you buying that? I'm like, you're Warren D. Martini. You're Warren D. Martini. He's like, oh man, that's cool. Can I check it out? I'm like, you're Warren D. Martini. You're Warren D. Martini. I'm handing him. Handing him the guitar, I'm, I mean, I might have been drooling. I mean, honestly, like, it was just everything. My brain was shutting down. And then he sat down, and we talked for a minute, and he's like, oh, man, Robin Crosby used to own one of these. It sounded so great. We, I always loved it when he, when he would play that. This is a really cool guitar, man. Congratulations. And honestly, like, I'm like, he hands it back to me, and I'm like, you're Warren D. Martini. You're Warren D. Martini. I don't know that I actually really said anything yeah. to oh. one of my heroes. But if you go back and listen to his solos now, it makes sense that Frank Zappa thought highly of his playing. It's like he really changed the game. Well, evolved the game. Like he fought outside the pentatonic blues box in a way that a lot of those other guys really didn't. And, you know, a, a, a really, really impressive player. 